a very good and a windy morning Dutch bike blogger thank you for riding with me four minutes after eight o'clock in the morning at September 9th 2020 on my way for another appointment Gee. well not too cold apart from the wind nice cycling weather actually Well, yesterday I told you about troubles with my bicycle. Troubles are still there. And I will try to explain in a minute. And by explaining it's best to do that by showing you, if you're interested, a link to a YouTube video which gives a quite good explanation. I will put it in the description box and if possible in the top right corner right now go watch that first please well as you are getting back from watching the video that explains a whole lot, I think, at least for me. Basically, it's quite easy. There are three positions. First position, pedaling forward. The rear cog. Or as we call it, called tand wheel. Cog wheel in English. bike rider to indicate that he was going to the right that's very nice but like I said three position first pedaling cogwheel is locked to the back wheel and the front wood on the front position and you're going forward which means when you're pedaling, moving the pedals around with your feet or legs, the back wheel is turning with it. That's not a position when you stop pedaling. Then the mechanism in the back wheel, in the, in the rim actually, that is the least is a, bit, a little bit. You're not pedaling anymore, but the back wheel is still rolling along in the forward position. And then there's the third option, braking. You have to stop the pedaling and turn the pedals back, which again the thumbing in the same hub. I mean, I said rim, but I mean hub. In the hub, things change and actually will lock. something and the brake shoes will get pushed outwards outwards
making you break or slow down. Well, the problem with my uh, wheel hub assembly is that when I brake and I want to pedal again, forward blocking is not engaged, aka the worm wheel you saw and the small teeth are not engaged with going around freely, hence I'm pedaling in in air actually feels like the chain is falling off both cogwheels somebody has that feeling that you want to pedal and then there's no resistance you come to notice that the chain is off so that kind of feeling and then after pedaling Well, sometimes I fool. I fool around with my feet. Pedals going around one time. Then it engages again. Not married, but engages. And uh, it's picking up and I can ride my bag again. Go forward. Well, yesterday I went to the local bike repair shop. We didn't have time to have a look at it. Well, a short look, five minutes. But he is full of uh, jobs to do, appointments and other people's bikes to repair. So the first thing I can go to him is next Thursday. And it's now a Wednesday. It doesn't hurt to ride a bike, it's only irritating to say your brakes will be keep functioning. The only thing I have to notice is uh, is the fact that I sometimes can pedal and then I pedal in mid-air. That's well annoying. You really have to keep paying attention what you're doing. Well, a few things can be happening. It's not very clean in there anymore in the in the hub. I'm only it's aligned with grease. Also the brake shoes, yes, also. So that's what's going on. So far the time being, just use the bike as I want to use it. And hopefully nothing will break off. But like I said, the problem is more annoying than it is dangerous, lucky enough, otherwise I would have taken another bike. Some waiting to do, not something I want to repeat, but I'm not sure where that 
car driver pushed on, but he did. 15 minutes after 8 o'clock. Quite a quick ride, bike ride. And as you all know, you know where this is going to end on the railway station in Groningen, the Hoofdstation Groningen as we call it. wanted to go but he was on the bike lane doing special things well see you in part two when I get out of here in this afternoon <laughs> <laughs>